Hello, I'm continuing with um, the passing observations of um, Dr. Vernon Coleman from his book um, Coleman Cuts the Mustard and his passing observations on coronavirus special number 13 where he talks about opticians. So one is opticians are closed, of course. So millions of people will be suffering enormously. And what about motorists who need eye tests in order to retain their licenses? No one in government cares. What about patients with developing eye problems? Yeah, my auntie and I've got cataracts. No one in government cares about them either. Cataracts, glaucoma and macular degeneration will all go undiagnosed. Will this lunacy ever end? Too. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to Dr. Vernon Coleman's YouTube channel and also his new tube channel. He's on both, but the other one is preferential. He doesn't get any uh, deleted ones there. It doesn't cost anything and there are no adverts or sponsors on his videos. We are trying to put up at least one video every day and the old ones remain unless or until they get banned again by YouTube. Point three. Dominum, Dominic, sorry, Dominic Cummings was supposed to be the brain of the Conservative Party. He is, it was said, the man who understands what the public wants. I read that he was able to manage public opinion. Really? If he is the best brain the Conservatives have, then heaven help us all. His absurdly arrogant behaviour has destroyed the British government's lockdown policies not a bad thing, so thanks to him for that. Split the Conservative Party. Serves them right for employing him. Wrecked the Prime Minister's credibility. And lost any reputation he had himself. Brilliant! Not bad for a highly paid advisor who was supposed to work behind the scenes and help the Prime Minister run things if the fellow had any integrity, self-respect or respect for his employer he would have resigned ages ago if he was employed in the private sector, I suspect he would have been fired for arrogance, incompetence and simple, old-fashioned stupidity. But he's a sort of uncivil servant, so what can we expect? For attempts are constantly being made to monster Sweden and to fake the Swedish mortality figures. The problem for the UK and other countries is that Sweden has not really had a lockdown. The government there trusted the people to behave sensibly and the death rate has been a fraction of the death in the UK. Britain's aggressive lockdown and social distancing policies have been an utter disaster and the utterly pathetic Boris Johnson will be remembered for having got just about every Everything wrong if he had not contracted the bug himself. 
and then had a child with his mistress, he would by now be as popular as Corbin used to be. The buffoon Boris is surviving only on public sympathy. Five, big energy companies are now banning customers from joining their cheapest deals unless they have smart meters fitted as blackmail. That suggests to me that smart meters are good for big energy companies and we already know they are good for the government because smart meters enable the authorities to turn your supply on and off when they feel like it. Smart meters certainly are not much good for customers. The inconvenience and disruption simply is not worthwhile as we all lose trust in the government it is important to stay alert we won't be letting the energy company install a smart meter six dr vernon said i used to play golf but after wrecking my shoulder i gave up the other day I decided to try a little chipping and putting in the garden. It's quite fun. Yesterday, I left a dozen golf balls on the lawn. Well, they are waterproof, aren't they? This morning, they had all gone. Who the devil took them? Fox? Squirrel? Crow? Seagull? My favourite is a seagull. Or several seagulls. I have seen one swallow a fat ball from a bird feeder in one gulp. A fat ball and a golf ball are much the same size. Now that the police are not allowed to arrest sunbathers, they won't have anything to do. So I will give them a ring and ask them to come and look for bill prints on the grass. Seven. We acquire our immunity to a whole range of minor infections through being in daily contact with other people. Being in contact with many infections keeps our immune systems in tip-top condition. When groups of people are isolated, they become dangerously vulnerable to infections and so forcing millions of people to stay under house arrest for considerable periods of time will make them very vulnerable to infections of many kinds when or perhaps that should be if their isolation ends. This is well known to everyone except governments around the world and their highly paid scientific and medical advisors who seem to have a combined IQ of 11.7 when the wind is blowing in the right direction and who either don't know this simple truth or don't care. Thank you for listening. I'll be doing another one and next time it will be coronavirus shutting public loose is lunacy. I agree with that.